Hello Troop Cookie Managers. This is a quick video that will show you how to allocate the cookies that you picked up in your initial order to the girls in your troop and also how to record payments for those cookies. Along with that, it includes a few tips on inventory management that you can put to use throughout the program. When you get back to base following your initial order cookie pickup, take the cookies out of the vehicles immediately. Many of our chocolate cookie varieties can melt quickly. If you didn't recount the number of cases of cookies while you were on the delivery site, go ahead and do one now. Double count the cookies to make sure that all cases that were part of your initial order are in the vehicles. To get ready to distribute cookies to girls and their families, fill in the due dates and your contact information on the girl order cards and money envelopes. Also make sure that every package of cookies that leaves your possession is signed for on a receipt. We'll touch on that in a moment. And just to note, any damaged packages that you discover, because sometimes you don't notice them until after you open up a case of cookies, can be exchanged at any cupboard once those cupboards open. A few tips for new TCMs. TCMs and troop leaders should agree on a plan of how cookies will be distributed to girls and their caregivers. Financial responsibility for cookie inventory should be communicated to families. If you haven't had those conversations yet, now is the time to do so as you're distributing cookies. Another best practice is to collect a signed cookie permission slip from caregivers before you give cookie inventory to girls and their families. There is a paper copy of the permission slip in the family guide, but there's also a digital version that parents and caregivers can complete and have sent directly to the troop cookie manager. I will put the link to that form in the description box for this video. Along with making sure that you have a permission form from a parent or caregiver of all girls in your troop participating in the cookie program, experienced TCMs and leaders strongly encourage that you do not check out additional cookies to a caregiver until funds have been turned in for their previous checkout of cookies. Have a conversation with parents and girls about when you expect money to be turned in. It should be on a fairly regular basis and what the true process will be in terms of managing inventory so that expectations are clear on both sides. Be sure to plan with your other troop volunteers following best practices that you've likely already established at this point, the safest way for girls and families to pick up their cookie inventory following your initial order pickup. Also let families know that anyone storing cookies must store them in a temperature controlled and smoke free environment. Each troop was provided cookie receipt books to be used to track cookie and money transactions within the troop. They are carbon copied so that both the TCM and the caregivers can keep a copy. This paper trail is very important and is for the protection of everyone involved. The signed receipt transfers the financial responsibility from one person to the other, and it's best for both parties to keep the receipts for reference. So get into the habit of writing out a receipt for every package of cookies that's checked out and for all money transactions. On every receipt include the cookie variety, how many packages of each, the troop number, date, and the signature of the adult accepting the cookies or money, as well as the person giving the cookies or money. Both parties should count the cookies and money together. The troops should keep the white copy of the receipt and give the yellow copy to the caregiver. Keep copies of all receipts, including the initial order, starting inventory order, covered orders, and troop transactions. And one last bit of advice, update eBuddy frequently. Here's an example of a receipt. You'll notice that the type of receipt is circled here, troop number is in, date, exact quantity of all cookie varieties, and then the money owed for that inventory. Okay, once you're in the phase of distributing cookies after your initial order to the girls in your troop, you also wanna allocate those cookies to girls in eBuddy. All right, first two steps to allocating cookies in eBuddy is to go to the girl order tab in eBuddy and click on the girl's name. Once you're under the girl's name, you want to click on Add Transaction, and you're going to see little green boxes appear at the bottom of the page. You're going to record the total number of packages for each variety. You can see it lines up with different varieties of cookies. So you'll record the total number of each variety in these little green boxes. You also want to add a comment, like distributing cookies and then the date. In this box here, so as the weeks go by through the cookie program, you understand what each transaction is. Once you've entered all the information, you're going to click the OK button or just hit Enter. 
click save to save the transaction, and then repeat these steps as needed for each girl that you're distributing cookies to in your troop. When you wanna add a girl payment, the steps are similar. You're gonna go under the girl order tab, go under the girl's name, but instead of clicking add transaction, you're gonna click add payment. You'll see green boxes appear again. So you wanna write in payment for X inventory and then the date in this box and the amount of the payment. You're gonna click the okay button or just hit enter, click save to save the transaction and then just repeat that process for each girl as needed. If you have questions about cookie distribution or inventory management, parents or caregivers should contact their Troop Cookie Managers or TCMs, and Troop Cookie Managers should contact your Service Unit Cookie Manager or SUCM. Thank you for watching. Look for the link to that digital parent permission form in the description box for this video.